Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you uh, how to install Bezel. It's a uh, lightweight monitoring uh, system for a server. So, uh, a little bit about this series. I'm going over a home lab, so installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what I'll be installing today. Bezel, it's a lightweight server monitoring hub with historical data, do Docker stats, and alerts. And um, this is what it looks like. So CPU, memory, and disk. Um, it's lightweight. Uh, so this is the features it has. It's built on pocket base. So that's what we will be installing today. So now I'm going to um, start on Big Bear Cost OS, and there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to go over to search and type bezel, and then now you see this, apps and bezel. I'm going to go into it. Then um, you'll see config.json, and that just uh, is for the re repo right here. And then the Docker and Pose. So the Cost OS app name is called Big Bear be Bezel. And then I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Be Bezel. And then the container name is going to be called Big Bear Bezel. And this is so Docker doesn't have to generate a random name. The image is coming off of Docker by default because there's no year before this. This is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. And with Big Bear Cost OS, the Docker image tag gets updated. So now a restart and let's stop. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails any other reason, do not try to restart. And then now volumes right here. So there's one volume and it's a bind. So data, app data, and then uh, the app ID, which is dynamically generated from the name up here. And then data. So this is on the host side. And then on the container side is a bezel a data. Do not change the container side. And then now ports, so 8090 is on the host. And if this does collide with another port on your host, you can change it to like 8091. And then on the container side, it's 8090. Do not change the container port. Uh, a port. And then now XCOS OS information uh, to explain the volumes and the ports on the container. And now XCOS OS information to explain the app to the app store. So the architectures that the, the Docker image supports, and we are seeing this Docker image right here. That's what that supports. And then the main service is set to Big Bear Bezel. And then uh, the description, the tagline, the developer, and the author, the icon being used. And then thumbnail, the title, and then the category, so everybody can click on Big Bear Cost OS and automatically see all the Big Bear Cost OS apps in the Cost OS app store. And then now port map is 8090, and that rhymes with the host port up here, right here. So that's a little bit about the Docker and Pose. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it, and it greatly supports this channel, and I very much appreciate it. So, uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So, let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my Cost OS, and I'm going to go to the App Store, and I'm going to search for Bezel. And now you see it right here, so you can go into it, and then you can press Install. And what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker image off the registry, getting extracted, getting up with Docker Compose underneath because this is using the Docker engine. It's also setting up the network and the volumes. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to start on my COS OS. And um, if you go up to these uh, vertical dots right here, you can click on it. You can open in the web UI. You can set some tips. And it's like a notepad. You can come down here at edit button and you can put something in it and a testing and press the save button it'll reload the container and say bezel is okay 
you can go back into the tips and you can see it did save. You can go back into the vertical dots and then you can go to settings. And now you can see all the services in the Docker Compose. And um, you can see uh, that there's set settings. You can ch change and then press the save button. Do not change the container side of the ports or the container side of the uh, volume right here. You can go up here to terminal logs and then um, the terminal is not available. And then you can go to logs. This is great for debugging. And then you can exit out of there. You can export the Docker and pose right here into a cost OS uh, format. And then now you can exit out of there. You can go over here. You can check for updates from VBRCOS OS by clicking here. You can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to start on my COS OS and I'm going to go to Bezel and create an admin account. So username, admin, and then admin at example.com. And then I'm going to put a more than 10 character password in. Then now once you do that, you're going to say create an account. So now the account's created and we can get to adding our system. So now I'm going to go and add a system up here. So you're going to click it. Then you're going to put the system name in. So I'm going to just say Big Bear Server. And then now I'm going to put the IP in. And this is the LAN IP of my other local server. And then now I'm going to say Copy Docker Compose. So now you're going to copy it and then I'm going to say OK. And then now I'm going to SSH into that server and uh, start up the Docker Compose. So now I'm in the server that I want to monitor. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and say nano Docker Compose and then YML. Now return or enter. So now I'm going to paste in what I copied over in that dialog. And then now once you do that, you're going to say uh, con uh, control X, Y, and then enter or return. And then now it's done. So I'm going to say Docker uh, compose up and then D for, da uh, for Damium. Uh, so it runs in the background. So now if everything went good, you should see it up and running right here. So now I'm going to continue where I left off. Um, so now I'm going to come down here and press add system. So now you can see it's green and it added the system to the bezel. And now you can see CPU, memory, and disk. So now I'm going to go over the UI a bit. Um, so on the home page, you'll see all the systems you, you have. You can filter up here. And then that's command K. And also you can filter over here. And then th there we go. Um, you can go, go over here and you can copy the system name. Um, you can add system up here like we did. You can uh, set alerts, so system status, CPU usage, memory usage, and disk usage. Um, you can come come over here and pause, copy host, and then you can delete it. You can go into it more, and you can see more detail. So the up, the IP, and then uh, 41 days uptime, and then you can see the uh, the CPU info. You can see total CPU usage, then you can filter. You can see Docker CPU usage and filter. You can see total memory usage. You can also see the Docker memory usage and then the swap usage and then the disk usage down here. And you can also see the disk IO usage, the bandwidth, and the Docker network IO. You can go over here and you can switch to light, dark, and then system. And then you can go back to the GitHub. You can also go up here to the user and you can go to users, systems, logs, backups, auth providers. Then you can log out. 
you can go to users right here and you can type your email that you signed up with. So admin at example.com and then my password. And then now I'm signed in. So you can see users, alerts, container stats, system stats, and then system. So you can go into each one of these. And you can also see the logs over here. You can see what's, what's happening with everything. You can also go to settings right here. So application and then mail settings, file storage, and then backups the auth providers, token options, and then admins, and you can add a new admin right here. Um, you can go over here and you can go down here and manage the admins a lot like we're doing right now, and you can log out. So that's a little bit about Bezel's UI. So I just went over step-by-step step on getting Bezel set up on one server and monitoring another server. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or, or if you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.